No matter how much you love and cherish every member of your household, furry or otherwise, the prospect of returning to a life outside the home after months of pandemic quarantines and lockdowns is something to celebrate. Change can be hard, even for pets. As the world resumes normalcy following the pandemic, your dog may begin exhibiting signs of separation anxiety. In this video, we will tell you about the separation anxiety in dogs, seven breeds that hate being alone. First, number nine, is it true separation anxiety? Dogs with separation anxiety go beyond simply pouting or whining when you leave them. Separation anxiety manifests in destructive or self-harming behavior that can include soiling in the house, tearing up their surroundings, and even occasionally injuring themselves while attempting to get out. Other symptoms include vocalizing excessively, refusing to eat or drink, and incessant panting or salivating. Many pups with separation anxiety don't respond well to being crated either. Brown dog lying on blue couch looking dejected after ripping a pillow apart. It's important to keep in mind though that many of these symptoms can also reflect other conditions, which makes separation anxiety hard to properly diagnose. If your dog relieves himself in the house while you're gone, for example, there are still a number of possible causes including improper house training or incontinence due to a physical condition. Excessive panting, salivating, and refusing to eat or drink could also signal another medical condition such as dehydration. Some dogs also simply have rambunctious personalities that turn items in their surroundings into collateral damage. The key is to determine whether these behaviors only occur when your dog is left alone and to rule out familiar causes such as a medical condition or the dog's age and personality. In the case of separation anxiety, destructiveness is usually specific to the desire to escape. Chewing your favorite pair of shoes while you're gone, on the other hand, is often him just being a dog. But if he chews and scratches the wallpaper, he may very well be desperate to get out, a telltale sign of separation anxiety in dogs. Another sign is if these are new behaviors that your dog hasn't normally exhibited, especially if you are away more often than in the past. Number 8. What are signs of separation anxiety in dogs? There are many levels of severity of separation anxiety. On the less severe end of the spectrum, a dog with separation anxiety might refuse to eat unless there are people around. At the extreme end, dogs with severe separation anxiety may destroy crates, chew at door frames, and even break windows to try and get out of the house to find their family. Signs of separation anxiety in dogs vary, but may include excessive vocalization, drooling, and house soiling when left alone. Sometimes, dogs will lick a particular spot on their body until they cause a wound. Anxious dogs may follow people from room to room when they are home, never wanting to be separated by even a few feet. Dogs who have one type of anxiety, such as storm phobias, are more likely to be anxious in other stressful situations, including separation. Breeds whose job is to follow people around, like herding dogs, are more likely to develop separation anxiety than dogs bred for property protection or other solo work. Separation anxiety is different from barrier frustration, being crated or locked indoors, and the typical whining puppies do for the first few minutes they are left alone. Number 7. Toy Poodle This sweet little ball of fur is affectionate and will bond strongly with you. Unfortunately, the toy poodle can become overly dependent on your presence and develop severe separation anxiety if left alone for long periods of time. Sometimes, this results in negative behaviors like having accidents in the house. When left alone, Poodles are sad and think you left them forever. 
That's why the majority of them chew everything in their way or refuse to eat and drink. Puppies chew more often than adults. That's why it is recommended to always leave your poodle with family, friends, pet sitters, or at some pet hotel while you're gone. Researchers say that a poodle can be left alone as much as they can hold going to the toilet. Number 6. Australian Shepherd The lovely Australian Shepherd is an extremely intelligent dog that loves nothing more than working for you. Easily trained, they are energetic and athletic, and they need an outlet for that energy. Leaving them alone can cause an undue amount of stress. In severe cases, they can actually become self-destructive if left alone for too long. Australian Shepherds are highly susceptible to boredom because they are super intelligent dogs. Number 5. American Pit Bull Terrier This is an affectionate breed that lives to guard and protect his family. Without company, he may become anxious, destructive, or noisy. Though pit bulls are a wonderful addition to your home, you'll want to consider how to keep them entertained when you are not there. American pit bulls can be left alone as long as they're properly trained. During the adjustment period, however, adults shouldn't be left alone for more than four hours, and puppies no more than two. The best way to leave your dog at home without incident is to implement it into his training routine. Number 4. Chihuahua This engaged and active little dog is a favorite house pet that owners often treat more like a child than a dog. Being carried around with their human makes them extraordinarily affectionate, but if left alone for extended periods of time, their anxiety may lead them to become destructive or even aggressive. The tricky aspect of separation anxiety is that dogs can feel the strain of isolation in a very short amount of time or growing apprehensive can build up over the course of hours before a breaking point is reached. And this can vary by the day. In regard to safety factors, as long as the environment is warm and safe and enough food and water is supplied, a healthy chihuahua can be okay alone for up to 9 to 10 hours. Number 3. Bichon Frise These adorable balls of fluff are affectionate and love just about everyone. They crave human attention. That's why when left alone for extended periods, they are apt to develop anxiety issues. Personality-wise, he does not like to be left alone and can become anxious and destructive when you do leave him. Number 2. Italian Greyhound like a small greyhound, Italian greyhounds are bred to run and hunt. Though this elegant dog loves to be in your lap, they also need lots of exercise and an outlet for their energy. If left alone too long, they may become anxious, aggressive, and destructive. Just like any other dog, Italian greyhounds can be left alone. It might just take longer to get them used to it. You can and should work hard on it as you will probably have to leave them home alone at some point unless you want to get a dog sitter every time you leave. Number 1. Maltese Like the Chihuahua, the cute little Maltese is often treated more like a child than a dog. They quickly become accustomed to being the center of attention and can be resentful and jealous of your focus if they are left alone. Regardless of which degree your Maltese struggles with being home alone, there can be quite a bit of improvement. The main idea of this is to 1. Set up the right environment and 2. Equip your Maltese with what he needs when he is by himself. If only some elements are incorporated but not others, you may find that your dog still struggles. So, the idea will be for all elements to work together in combination to truly provide support on all levels. Do let us know in the comments if your dog hates being left alone. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.